Hello YouTube, Chrome Freak here. You're looking at a, um, <laughs> a table full of guns here. Uh, wonderful fly firearms actually. Um, I was going to make a video tonight on the M1 carbine where I, I promised a few guys out there I've had some PMs on the complete disassembly of the bolt and also of the trigger group. I'll probably make that in two separate videos so I don't have one big long videos. I don't want to make long videos. However, on certain things like with disassemblies of firearms, and like going over what you have to look for in the animal carbine, it takes some time and I just want to kind of be thorough as I can be on it, but I don't want to make that a habit, 30 something minute videos, I really don't. However, guys that are in the market for an animal carbine might find that very informative. So it's probably more of a specialty kind of video for certain people. However, I'm gonna to try to make this one as quick as possible. I am going shooting tomorrow, that's why all these firearms are out here. And I figured I'd make a quick video because why make the M1 carbine bolt video tonight and trigger group video tonight when I gotta tear it down tomorrow night after shooting it? So that's why that's happening. Okay, we'll start this way. The Mossberg 590, I'm taking it out shooting because I haven't shot it in a while. I just need the practice, the pump, getting the action down and all that. It's been a while, I just wanna get it out, get it shooting. Um, I just got some rabbit and squirrel loads here. Uh, two and three quarter inch, number six shot. They're, they're getting very old. In fact, I know these are at least 12 years old, if not older than that. So I just want to get rid of them, put some rounds through it. The 22, the Model 60 Marlin that we just put the feed throat in. I just want to get it out there and make sure that we fixed it properly. Got a 550 round box here, Remington zone. Um, and I got some others in there. I, let's see what they are. I'll look real quick because I just want to be thorough in here too. Just, just cheap Thunderbolts. And um, we're going to throw them through the Model 60 here just to make sure everything was repaired properly. Then I bought this 3 to 9 by 32 scope from Walmart. It's a center point cheap scope. But I'm going to mount it on the uh, Model 60 here. I'm not going to do that until I know that we have fixed the rifle. So whether I do that in the field tomorrow or I do it in a video which I've been asked to do it in a video that's probably what kind of what I'm leaning to toward doing however like I said I want to make sure it's repaired before I even put the scope on it but that's why I'm bringing the 22 tomorrow and we'll put a couple two or three hundred rounds through it the AK-74 Romanian SAR not a Wasser a SAR this is a high quality to me AK-74 it's a great AK I love it I'm bringing this because the gentleman I'm going with shooting tomorrow asked me to bring it. I only have about 100 rounds here at the house. I got quite a bit of ammo. Um, I keep my firearms, a lot of my firearms at a separate storage facility. The compound, we'll call it. An undisclosed location. <laughs> anyway, I've only got about 100 rounds. So we'll go ahead and we'll pump them 100 rounds for this tomorrow. I'll probably let him shoot it. The M1 carbine, I picked up a few weeks ago. I just want to get that out there just to make sure everything is functioning properly. Sitting here dry firing and everything seems to work. The action's great on it, but I want to run some ammo through it. And I think I got about 70 rounds of that on me, so it's not going to be a lot, but enough to heat it up and get it going. The, uh, the 27, the G27, which is pretty much my everyday carry piece now, most of the time I carry this. I've become very confident with it. I love it. It has not let me down yet. And I just want to go ahead and continue to build on the rounds I'm putting through it. And that goes the same thing with the 1911. However, it's not my carry piece. I just happen to love it. But I just want to go ahead and build up the round count and get it hot. A lot of guys don't think I'm a revolver guy. I have a few. I don't have a lot, but I do have a few revolvers. Uh, this is the Ruger uh, GP100, which is in 357 Magnum. And we'll go ahead and we'll get that out there tomorrow. Now this, what's special about this revolver is I did buy it used a while back that it's in excellent condition. I love to shoot it. It's a great revolver. It's been ported. The gentleman had it ported. This thing shoots like a 38, not a 357. It's got the high-vis front sight on it. The beautiful uh, Ruger grips that I think are very, very comfortable. And it's a nice little revolver. I think it's a high quality one. And, you know, it's not a Smith & Wesson, but probably the next best thing to me It'd be probably compared to the Smith & Wesson 686. And there goes my phone. Let's stop that. Sorry about that. And that's it. I got a bag full of ammo. 
bad boy ammo right here that we're going to put through everything. And I'm probably going to shoot the, the G27 and the 1911 more than anything else. But I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys I'm pretty excited about going tomorrow. And there's another guy from YouTube that I'm going to go shooting with. I'm hoping to go shooting with before the first. He's, at, he's going to go in and have some surgery done, minor surgery. I'm not sure if he wants me to say his name, so I won't. But I'm going to try to get up with him on the weekend and go shooting. So uh, we'll get some video up tomorrow, some shooting video hopefully. And then I'll also, like I said, do the bolt and the trigger group. And I've had some requests to do, like I said, some revol more revolver videos. So we'll do that. We'll put some more revolvers out there. And I'll probably do some disassemblies of them and reassemblies and all that kind of good stuff. And this is a very nice revolver to me. I love it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. And if I haven't answered your comments, I'm trying to catch up. There's a few guys, there's a few comments out there. I'm trying to catch up to them, and I will. And a video I made the other day, I haven't even been able to get on the comments of that yet. So uh, I got the rest of this week off, thank God, and uh, I'm gonna enjoy it, and I'm gonna try to catch up on all my YouTube stuff by Sunday. I promise I will. Guys, if you wanna see anything, let me know. And once again, just thank you. Good night, YouTube.